Hey, how is it going guys? Today I'd like to show you a quick video on how to install and properly run Red Orchestra, Rising Storm and also the mod uh, Heroes of the West. Alright, if you have no idea on how to install, uh, how to use Wine and how to install Steam and how to install a single game, I'll leave a link in the description where I did uh, some tutorials and also a uh, post on my blog. Okay, so now we can start. I have to say that I played around 60 hours this game and they play both on NVIDIA and uh, AMD using Gallium 9. So I know the game quite a lot, I can say. Okay, just install the game and there is a thing that you have to do before launching the game that's very important. So you have to rename uh, binaries, unexecutable, okay, which is uh, dot net 3.5 uh, you have to do that because at every time you launch the game this executable will try to actually install dot net 3.5 but it will fail okay so at every launch it will appear a menu and then you press ok install here install that but it will fail and it's very annoying because at every launch it will try to install okay so it's better if you if you rename it so it won't appear every time and actually you do not need .NET 3.5 to, to run the game not at all so no one trick is needed just uh, rename it and that's it you're not going to install it to do so you want to I'm using by the way a terminal you can do the same with a graphical file manager we have to go on our prefix or red orchestra then drive C steam library steam apps common red orchestra 2 uh, binaries win windows and then here okay we can see d here ls and uh, i'm listing the file in this directory and as you can see i already rename it ro2 redist.x you can rename it like dot back so it's become a backup no big deal if you have no idea on the terminal you just press you just type mv so move the file arrow redist dot x and arrow redist dot back you, this is the command if you want to to do from the terminal okay so move this file and will became it will become this one okay perfect after you did that you can launch the game and it will install i guess Punk Buster here and something else, maybe DirectX. Anyway, after that, the game runs out of the box. You may have a problem with uh, by using NVIDIA if you have uh, CUDA installed. Okay, so it's not my case right now, but I played I actually played the first time uh, the, the the first time I played this game. I used an NVIDIA card and I had this problem. So if you try to launch the game and the game like uh, throws you an error without even uh, launching, okay, at all, not even the menu and uh, all the other stuff, you want to select pref point prefix equal, you want to select your wine prefix wine config then go libraries and select and CUDA here I guess yes and you want to disable it so if you are on NVIDIA if the game doesn't launch it throws you an error as soon as you launch it disable CUDA okay and then it should launch without problems okay I'm gonna remove it because this is not my case and that's it Actually, the game runs great on AMD with Galleon 9, but this is a Unreal Engine 3 games, and Unreal Engine 3 games, as they have a lot of problems on Galleon 9, especially if you have a Radeon C or a AMD GPU card like I have, R9 380, like I'm using right now. You can check my blog where I, I wrote a post about it. And the game is going to suffer this bug right here, as you can see in this photo, in this picture, sorry, in this image. 
So sometimes if you're using Gallium 9 and AMD, sometimes you have this strange, uh, very bright, and very colored uh, colors showing while you are playing. And also the game may hang and hang all your computer where a uh, reboot is the only option. All right, this happened with almost every Unreal Engine 3 games on, uh, on Gallium 9. That's it. Hopefully they will get fixed, but you know, you can see here, I, I wrote about different bugs for different games. You can check it if you are interested. I'll leave a link in the description. And then that's basically it. That's for uh, Rising Storm and Red Orchestra 2. Now you can go ahead and also install the community maps without problems. Okay, you can download them, also you can play them. And I also have here Heroes of the West. All right, this is a mod that you can install for free, no problem. Just go to the store page and install it. Okay, it's free, install now. It will download the content. Actually, this mod here, it has a launcher that basically you can launch the, the Hero of the West mode and uh, it actually launch also Red Orchestra 2. So you will have two games going on. And basically, when you launch Heroes of the West, you launch just a small, uh, uh, yeah, small windows that counts the hour. That's it. This small window counts the hour, how many hour you're played Heroes of the West. But it's actually, you don't need that to, to play here the, the actual mode because they are, the mode is just maps, you know, and maybe some, some, uh, yeah, just maps and some graphics like weapons and dresses, costumes, you know, stuff like that. So if you want to launch and count the hour, if you are, if you want to count the hour, you need to install .NET 4.0. Okay, the game. All right, so the game works, but to the launcher, to the Heroes of the West launcher, to properly run, you need .NET 4.0. I couldn't care less about uh, having my hours uh, on on this mode uh, calculated or not. So I'm not gonna do that. But anyway, if you want to do that, as I said, winetricks-q.net 4.0. Install it and then you are able to have the, the mod window to, to calculate your hours. That's it, that's the only thing that you can, you can do if you want to properly run this mode. As I say, not gonna do that because I couldn't care less. So right now I'm launching the the game. Also, I'm going to show you something else before that I forgot. Because every Unreal Engine 3 games, they have uh, some introduction video that they are unskippable. That's every one of them. So in many cases, adding this as a uh, Launch option, okay, dash, no startup movies. It will basically skip the intro videos. That works with almost every Unreal Engine 3 game. And as I said, almost every Unreal Engine 3 game, they have unskippable intro movies. So this is very, very, it can be very helpful, you know. Okay, and as you can see, as soon as I launch the game, it goes straight to the menu, no bullshit. Actually, post many videos already of both uh, Rising Storm, Red Orchestra, and also the Heroes of the West. As you can see, no intro videos, straight to the menu. Then you can start browsing the server. If you have no server here, no server appears, check the filters and check the the, the play style game mode and here it's, everything is set to all. 
okay then I'm going to select map name here and all the WF here those are all here the heroes of the West mode as you can see here UK number four heroes of the West mode so as I say the mod runs without problems you just need to do that one tricks for the launcher for the actual mode launcher but this is it's no big deal it's up to you actually try to play they are super empty Omaha Beach yeah Omaha Beach actually a great map yeah let me try this one in the game this game it's brutal I mean it's really brutal because it takes so many hours to understand uh, or to know the maps so for the first like I will say 20 30 hours you will just die like uh, after three seconds that you play the game I mean that you spawn you'll die just because the, the map they are big not huge but they are quite big and there are a lot of uh, a lot of uh, yeah you know nature different trees or buildings here and there so it's really sad for the first hours because you have no idea what the, the hell what the hell is going on or uh, where did you actually died from the game looks beautiful like every unreal engine game they look beautiful always actually see that I have 30 40 FPS but while you are in game that should be more like right now I have no idea where the enemy are so let me check the map okay so I have to go further as you can see the game runs fine nothing crazy no errors whatsoever there's no one and by the way you, you go around and there is no one I mean you can see the end oh there it is Got him. Oh fuck. This is the computer, by the way. Oh come on man. So if you play uh player versus player, it won't be so easy to yeah, not to die. I mean when you see the enemy, you have few seconds because it's before it's going to shoot you. All right. As you can see, when you play with the computer, it's everything is strange. I mean, the AI is not the best one. But that's it. Side here if I can. Ah. Holy shit, they are all there. Oh 
Oh fuck. Alright, that's it. As you can see the game runs great. The mod runs out of the box. I mean uh, runs without problem. If you want it to run properly, just install .NET 4.0 and launch the the mod launcher. That's it. Alright, hope it was helpful and I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.